one-on-one with BYU senior safety, Zane Anderson. The Zane train, what did you do last Saturday while you were not playing Army in West Point, New York? Um, man, I didn't, I didn't do a whole lot. <laughs> I went for a run in the morning. Uh, we worked out here in the morning. I went for a run at the canyon, and then I watched football all day. That was, that was my Saturday. Um, it was frustrating we couldn't be able to play those guys, but um, it is what it is with this coronavirus stuff. As it stands, you're 1-0. We move into late September. BYU is ranked number 18 in the AP poll, the highest ranking that BYU has enjoyed since 2014. What do you think of the top 25 recognition, albeit in a scenario where only seven of the 10 conferences are currently playing or scheduled to play? Yeah, I mean, I think it is what it is. I think that's tough for the fans. Um, I think it was something we need to take lightly as players and as, as coaches and um, it really doesn't mean a whole lot, I think, especially right now in these times. And um, while it is an honor, we're on there and stuff, we just got to throw it out the window because we got a lot of work to do and um, some, some good teams that we need to play. And um, at the end of the season, we can look back and, and, and smile and shake our heads and uh, show our gratitude for our, the national rank. But right now, it's just, it's just a rank. We need to keep working, and uh, we've got a lot of games on the schedule. Like you said, it's for the fans and the talking heads in Studio B, right? Yep, exactly. <laughs> you guys enjoy that. <laughs> oh, we are. We absolutely are. <laughs> Zane, what's the number one scouting report for Troy after you watch the Trojans beat up on Middle Tennessee? Because you, you can focus on those guys. We, we can talk about Troy. Yeah, um, they're a really good team. Um, they've, they've showed that they can win a lot of big games in the past few years. Um, and they've got a really capable offense. They, uh, they're they a really uh, good passing team. They've got some really good receivers and a quarterback that can throw the ball. Um, and so we're going to be, we're going to be on our, uh, our cues because um, it's going to be a, it's going to be a good challenge for us. And I think we're really excited for it. We didn't get challenged much in Navy. Um, the Everyone else kind of handled it up front and they did a really good job. And so now it's our time to shine and, uh, and show what we're capable of. <clears throat> 19 days between games by the time you roll into the Troy game at Lavelle Edwards Stadium on Saturday night, which always brings up the rust versus rest. But the impression I get is that everyone's just super thirsty and hungry to play football again. Uh, so how do you view the rest versus rust versus just let us play scenario? Yeah, I mean, I wish I wish we could play every every week um, with some of these circumstances in allow us, but um, I think that's the whole team as well. I think we all want to play um, every single game. Um, I don't think any, anybody likes sitting out. And I, as fun as it is uh, watching all the games on and being a fan <laughs> on a Saturday, um, it's it's way funner playing in a game. And so that was my thing on Saturdays. I just wanted to play. I was I was pretty frustrated watching some games, and I watched the or, or and and so yeah, it was tough. But um, um, it's just something we're gonna have to deal with and. Oh, no question. The, the frustration is real. But you mentioned you did watch football all day. You watched Navy complete that comeback. Uh, yeah. Does Navy winning that game in any way make you and the team feel better about what you did in Annapolis to open the season? Yeah, absolutely. I turned on that game um, in the first half, and I was like, shoot, they were kind of getting beat down. And then at halftime, they, they must have lit a fire on them or something because they came out swinging. And so – and they came back and won, and that really does. That helps us. Um, it, it helps us show that that's a bigger win for us when we when we beat them like that. And uh, so I hope that they win uh, the rest of the season. Um, they're a good football program. We really respect them. Well, now you have the national spotlight on Saturday night uh, with Troy coming to town, and really BYU because you're the only team in the West playing. It's, it's all eyes on you if people want to watch late football. What type of atmosphere do you anticipate in the stadium with 6,000 fans watching you play, not to mention, you know, hundreds of thousands of people across the country? Oh, it's going to be beautiful. Um, we always love playing Lavelle Edwards. Um, a night game, it's going to be fun. Um, even though there's only 6,000 fans, we've, we've, we've kind of uh, um, developed this thinking that we need to bring our own energy to games. Um, We've seen that in the past when we go into other team stadiums and kind of take it over. Um, and that's just like our message throughout this whole season is we're going to go and whether we're playing at home or they're playing away, um, it's, it's we just got to take over the stadium and use our energy um, to create a force 
And so I think that's our plan, head into this game and create some adversity for these guys. How's your health, not just from a COVID standpoint, but from recovering injuries standpoint? Good. Um, I feel really confident um, coming out of Navy game. I felt really healthy, and that's something I haven't felt in a long time. And so um, it was exciting, and I, and I think it helps my confidence um, on the field and um, just with injuries in the past. I've kind of been banged up after a few games just at the very start of the season. And so the uh, plan is just keep it like that, and uh, I feel really good. So I'm, I'm really excited. Well, it's great news for you and great news for BYU fans to hear that. And uh, with the COVID scenario still happening, your quarterback, Zach Wilson, mentioned that he legitimately is seeking out potentially a place to live by himself so he can avoid contact tracing and just stay focused on the season and not have to worry about catching COVID. Is this a common theme throughout the team or is this just a Zach Wilson thing? Um. For sure. I think everyone is, is to that point, too. I think everyone's bought in, but that's for sure. This is Zach Wilson thing, too. Um, I think everyone's doing their part to to stay away from, from outsiders to, to social events. Um, and living alone would be great, but I, don't, I wish I had the money <laughs> to be able to do that. <laughs> um, and I think – but I think that's kind of the message is obviously we all want to play and we're all trying to do whatever we can to play. And so – um, if, if it's moving houses, if it's trying to get somewhere alone, if it's sacrificing, I think everyone on the team is, is kind of bought in to do that. And, you know, I want to have a senior season more than anything. I didn't work out this hard all year just for, for nothing. And so I'm willing to do anything as well. And so and that's a lot of our guys. And so um, it's just taking things as it is, but trying to be careful as you can. Now, understandably, you of all people have had to wait a long time. And so every game really is precious to you. Then the NCAA rules that, well, they're not going to hold it against you if you want to come back and play in 2021. So I have to ask the question, Zane, is there any chance that the Zane train could be playing for BYU in 2021 against a schedule that includes seven power five opponents and Boise state? That, that schedule looks nice, man. I think it, after losing this season, uh, sacrificing our season for, all these games and stuff. It's been hard, but I don't know, man. Taking things one thing at a time. I uh, just got to bottle out every game and see what happens. I can't give an gonna, answer. Yeah, I'm not going to complain about just the possibility <laughs> out there. So I'll, I'll keep my blue goggles on here, Zane. <laughs> we'll be thinking about uh, the Zane train potentially in 2021. But for now, let's give you some karma for uh, the Troy game. And uh, great to hear that you're doing well and the team's back together and uh, practicing normally. Go get it done against the Trojans, man. Good luck. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it, man. Great to have him healthy and leading the charge as one of those senior veteran leaders for the BYU defense. Yeah, Zane, it's great to have him back. And uh, here's to next year.